And more questions tonight about the inauguration. A lot of people wondering if the event could be moved away from the Capitol to keep people safe. Has that happened before? Evan Kozloff verifies. The Verify team is here to make sure we have the facts about inauguration. And following the Capitol riot, there are a lot of questions out there about security. On social media, you'll see comments like this. Clearly, they need to move the inauguration to a secure and secret location. So let's verify. Has the inauguration ever been held away from the Capitol? It can be moved. It has happened before. Here's one of our sources, Alan Lichtman, a distinguished professor of history at American University. We also looked over online resources from the Joint Congressional Committee on Inaugural Ceremonies and the architect of the Capitol. The short answer here is yes. In the past, presidents have been inaugurated away from the Capitol. Take our first president, George Washington. He was inaugurated in New York for his first term and Philadelphia in his second. And that's for a really simple reason. The Capitol was not completed until 1800. We've also had swearing in ceremonies following the death or resignation of a president. Take Lyndon B. Johnson. Aboard Air Force One after the assassination of John F. Kennedy. That's one of the iconic images of uh, American history. But for most of our history, the inauguration has been held at the Capitol. We read through accounts of each and every presidential inauguration, not including deaths or resignations. This tradition has been broken just once in the last 200 years. Franklin D. Roosevelt was sworn into his fourth term as president at the White House, not the Capitol. That was wartime, so it was seen as expedient to hold it at the White House. So we can verify that yes, inaugurations have been held away from the Capitol in the past, but it doesn't happen often. Now, one other thing that could happen is that the inauguration could be moved inside. Last time this happened was in 1985, when it was so cold they had to move the ceremony to the rotunda instead. With your verify, this is Evan Kozlov. And folks, if you have something you want us to verify, send us a message via email, verify at 12newsnow.com, or you can shoot us a direct message on one of our social media accounts.